Hey there, Ashley here. It is the eve of the big day. We've spent the last four weeks getting ready. We made our advent wreath, we decorated with glue, we practiced mindfulness and listening, and it was all in preparation. But for what exactly? Well, the people of Jesus's day weren't exactly ready for what he had to say. And we still struggle with it sometimes today. Jesus's message challenged the status quo the way things were, and the way things sometimes still are today. So when he was out doing his teaching thing, some folks had a question for him. They asked, hey Jesus, what's the most important commandment? And he told them, the most important is to love the Lord your God. And he continued, he said, the second commandment is like the first. It is to love your neighbor as yourself. And he said, if you do these two things, they'll take care of all the other commandments. So when I was a kid, I learned that second part uh, in elementary school. We called it the golden rule, but we had slightly different words for it. Uh, we said, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Uh, it was on a big gold circle hanging in the music room, and we even sang it in our school song. It wasn't until I was quite a bit older that I realized that that message came from the Bible. Well, it turns out that message is not something that we only hear from Jesus. In fact, the message of love for others is part of just about every other culture's way of worshiping God. That's how important this message is, that God saw fit to get this word out to all these different people in all these different ways so that we might all learn it and act accordingly. So the folks who were, the, who were asking Jesus had a follow-up question. They wanted to know, who's your neighbor? So ultimately, Jesus didn't put any limits on to who our neighbor should be and who we should treat with love. Maybe that's why, despite so many differences, we hear this message across religions and across cultures, because we are all neighbors and we should all treat each other as such. This is ultimately God's gift to us, a family that extends past our house, includes our friends, the people we share our street with, share our city, share our state, our country, the whole world, an ever-growing family of billions. It's kind of amazing that we're all connected this way, and I think that's quite a reason to celebrate. So before I go, um, I added another candle to our Advent wreath to represent Christmas. So I'm going to light it and let's say another prayer, okay? All right. God, thank you for giving us this wonderful gift of a world full of people to love. Help us remember there are no limits to who we should call our neighbor and treat with love and kindness. Amen. Merry Christmas. See you later. Bye.